Yo, what is going on everybody? So hey, Tree Game, hope you're fantastic day. Welcome back to one of the Madden video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the best ways to make coins in Madden 21 Ultimate Team. And as always, if you have any questions, be sure to comment them down in the comment section below. But if you guys do enjoy this video, if this video does help you out, please do like and comment because it does help me get discovered more on YouTube. And if you guys are new, please do subscribe and press the bell so that way you guys get notified whenever I upload. And it would also help out the channel a lot. So we're going to talk about two different things in this video. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the aftermath of the Easter eggs. How you guys should be making coins right now after the Easter eggs have opened up. And when you guys should sell your cards, etc. And then part two will be how to prepare for series six. Because series six will be coming out this Friday. So I'm going to show you guys what you guys should be doing right now to prepare for a new, new series when it does come out. So that way you guys can make some coins when it does come out or before it comes out. So first thing we're going to talk about will be the aftermath of the Easter eggs. There will be timestamps. We're going to talk about both of those things down in the comment section in the pinned comment. So for example, if you guys want to skip to right when I talk about how to prepare for series six, you guys can go down to the pinned comment, click on the timestamp next to when I talk about series six and skip right to then. So simple as that. So now we're going to talk about what you guys should be doing right now after all the Easter eggs have opened up. So the Easter egg aftermath. So as you guys know, all the Easter eggs opened up on Sunday. For me, it was yesterday. For you guys, it'd be two days ago because I'm currently recording this on Monday and I will be uploading this on Tuesday. But like I said, all the Easter eggs opened up on Sunday, which caused the auction house to go down a lot in price. All the cards went down in price. At least all the high overall cards went down in price. So I hope you guys were able to take advantage of that. Snipe a couple cards for really cheap because the best time to sell those cards for me personally, I think it's going to be Wednesday night because when the new series comes out that's going to cause the cards to go down in price again because whenever a new series comes out they always update the pack and they give it so that way the pack save out better players so that usually causes the auction has to go down in price so you want to sell your cards whether, whether you got them from your eggs or any cards that you guys have you guys want to sell them before the new series comes out but you want to wait a couple days so like I, said, I recommend Wednesday night because usually that's the best time to sell cards because you don't want to wait too long after the series so that's when I recommend you sell it. that's usually the best time to sell it, it is on Wednesday night and then hopefully you guys can make a lot of profit whether you guys got those cards from your eggs or you guys were able to snipe a few cards for really cheap so that's when I recommend you sell your cards on Wednesday night. So another thing EA decided to do is they decided to drop some new cards into the Ultimate Egg. So there are three different Ultimate Eggs. One of them was just the 99 overall MVP Tom Brady. The other two were new cards. So one of the other cards was a 99 overall golden ticket to Davion Clowney, which was a great surprise. It's a great card. And you guys will have a chance to make your own golden ticket card if you guys log in to Madden Ultimate Team between 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time on April 7th and between 9 to 11 p.m. Eastern time on April 9th so don't quote me on those times I'm pretty sure those are the times you guys can check on Madden Twitter they post the form everything you guys can check the times to make sure but I'm pretty sure those are the times you guys have to log in to get yourself or to have a chance to get yourself a golden ticket collectible so then you guys can make your own 99 overall golden ticket if you guys are lucky enough to get a golden ticket collectible only 20 people in the whole world will be able to get one golden ticket collectible so you guys will have to be really lucky 10 on ps4 and 10 on xbox and then i'm pretty sure there are a few other other consoles you guys can do it on but one of the things the other card they dropped was 98 overall julio jones so you guys can actually make profit on that because to power up julio jones a lot of people want to power up julio jones you obviously need the power card and then you need this 93 overall or i'm pretty sure it's a 92 overall yeah, it's a 92 overall, the 50 card. So as you guys see, this card is going for ridiculously high, 350,000 coins for a 92 overall card. So when a card is going for expensively or going for a really high price, you guys can usually make profit off of it. So I'm going to show you guys how you guys can make profit because of Julio Jones and because he's going for so much coins. So whenever EA drops a new card and it goes for a lot of coins, it usually does a domino effect. So if EA drops, like since EA dropped that 98 overall Julio Jones, everybody wanted to power it up. So to power up, up to the 98 overall Julio Jones, you need all the cards that Julio Jones has. So Julio Jones has a 92 overall the 50 card. So because EA dropped a new 98 overall card, it caused the 92 overall the 50 card. I'm pretty sure which week was it? Was it week four? Or was it week four? No, let me see which week it was. All right, so it was week six. So because EA dropped the 98 overall Hulu Jones card, it caused this 92 overall Hulu Jones card to go up in price, which caused these 82 overall the 50 cards to go up in price because you need these cards to finish the 92 overall Hulu Jones card. So as you can see, these have gone up to about 9,000 coins because they dropped the new Hulu Jones card. So it's like a domino effect. So that's what you guys need to look at. Whenever a new card drops, like if, especially if it's like a really good card that everybody wants, you need to see what cards you need to power up that card and if 
I can make profit on it. If there's any set I can do to get that card. So since the 98 overall Julio Jones card dropped, you want to look at what do you, what cards do you need to get that Julio Jones up to a 99 overall card if you were to power him up. So you would have to get this 92 overall Julio Jones to power him up. And to get this 92 overall Julio Jones, you would have to complete this set to do it. But to complete the set, you need an 82, you need 32, 82 overall fresh players. To get these fresh players, you either need to pull them into packs or you need to do this exchange set for them. So this exchange set right here, you guys can do this exchange set to get yourself a guaranteed 82 overall, the 50 player, and you need 11 75 to 79 overall players to complete this set. So if you have a lot of 75 to 79 overall players in your unbinder, this is a great way to get rid of these players because you guys can complete the set and get about 9,000 coins out of it. So that's definitely higher and faster than selling all of these 75 to 79 overall cards separately. So this would be a great time to get rid of your item binder if you have a lot of 75 to 79 overall players. And another way you guys can take advantage of the set is by opening up getter player packs and hope that you pull 75 to 79 overall players. So as you guys know, getter player packs are a great way to make coins because they only cost 500 coins per pack and you guys can make some easy profit off of it so there's a lot of different ways you guys can do get a player pack so there's a lot of different videos you guys can watch out there but i'll just give you guys like the simple i'll just give you guys like the simple tutorial of what you guys should be doing when you guys open up these get a player packs so the first thing you guys want to do is any silvers you want to you pull you want to put them into the next exchange set so usually there's only one set you guys can put a silver into and you just want to put them into the exchange set if you pull a silver rookie player you still just want to put them into the same exchange set because there will be two different sets you guys can put them in, but you guys want to make sure you guys put them into the 70 to 74 overall gold exchange set or into the 66 to 69 overall gold exchange set if you pull a 62 to 65 so now that we have this card right here there's a couple things you guys can do you guys can put them into the 76 to 78 overall super 7 vp player which you only need three 70 to 74 overall players to complete the set but i prefer this set even though you need four 70 to 74 overall so you need an extra 70 to 74 overall to complete this set but the reason why i like this 75 to 79 overall is because you have a chance to pull a power up and some of the power-ups are going for a lot of coins so that's why i prefer that set if you guys can do the other set if you guys want to but i prefer that set personally because it has a chance to pull a decently expensive power-up but you just want to keep on opening the opening up these get a player packs like i said they're only 500 coins it's a great method to do if you guys aren't like if you guys are multitasking so here we pull a 65 overall so once again we're, we'll just put this into the 66 69 overall silver exchange set but this is just like a great method to do if you guys are doing work or if you guys are doing school so this is just a great method to do if you're if you don't want to focus too much you know what i'm saying so here we pull a 66 to 69 overall so once again pretty much it's the circle of life you just want to put them into that you just want to put them into their respective sets and then you just want to keep on doing it if you pull that player and then another great thing about this pack is that you have a slight chance of pulling elite wow that was on cue so here we pull an 83 overall derwin james jr i promise you guys i did not set that up that was literally on cue of me saying that you guys can pull elite players but there's a decent you're probably going to be pulling an elite player one out of like 10 to 20 packs so there's decently high odds if you pull an elite player and if you pull an elite player you just want to sell them so let's see how much that 83 overall derwin james card goes for so remember we only spent 500 coins for this card and this card alone goes for about let's see about okay I'm, i don't think he'll sell for six thousand coins we'll say he's probably selling for around five thousand coins right so still we spent about 500 coins and we got back five thousand coins so that's an easy 4500 coin profit just like that just because we pulled this elite player so you're going to be pulling a decent amount of elite players when you open up those packs and then you just want to put up the elite players up on the auction house you don't want to put the elite players into any sets you usually just want to sell the elite player you get and take your guaranteed profit so that's what you want to do with your elite players and then with your gold players you want to put them into the exchange set and then obviously if you pull a 75 to 79 overall you want to put them into the 82 overall fresh so like i said there's a lot of different videos on how to do get a player pack i'm not i'm not a get a player pack expert because i don't usually like to do it too often because i feel like it's boring but it's a great method to do if you guys are doing work or if you guys are doing school if you guys don't want to pay attention too much to madden you guys can do that method to make some easy coins and multitask and make some coins while you guys are doing something else so that's one of the ways you guys can take advantage of the julio jones is by opening up get a player packs hope that you pull 75 to 79 overalls or at least obviously and then put them into the set and get yourself not the set put them into this set where you need 11 75 to 79 overalls and get yourself an 82 overall fresh player who knows maybe you'll pull an 82 overall fresh player from the get our player packs you guys can do that there's a chance you guys can do that so 
easy profit if you guys do. So 11, 10 times 79 overall players complete that. Now, once you guys complete the set, whether you guys are doing get a player packs or just clearing out your item binder, there's a couple things you guys can do with that. So you guys can either sell it right away and make an easy 9,000 coins, or you guys can try to complete the Julio Jones set yourself. So you guys can try to get 32, 82 plus overall fresh players to complete the set and then sell Julio Jones for 300,000 coins, or you guys can just sell the 82 overall fresh player and make some easy profit. So it's completely your choice. I'm not sure which one's better, honestly. Obviously putting the 32, 82 overall fresh players in here is gonna be longer, but you also get his power up and stuff. So I'm not sure if this is gonna be more worth it, but it's definitely gonna take longer. So it's completely your choice whether you wanna try to get all 32 of these or just sell each one you get, so. Another thing you guys can do is you guys can just try to snipe these players because as you guys see these players are selling for 9900 coins but you guys could try to snipe them like if you see any for like 7000 coins you probably don't want to snipe them into the sets here I'll show you guys what you guys should do. So as you guys see right now these cards are selling for about 9900 coins minus tax that's about 9000 coins so you always want to check the prices of the cards you guys are trying to snipe so that way you know how much they're selling for so these prices probably aren't going to be the same by the time you guys watch this video because like I said the price is going to vary a lot so either the price is going to go down or the price is going to go up by the time you guys watch this video but you always want to check to see how much are the 82 overall the 50 players are going for so they're going for about nine to ten thousand coins so which means you guys probably sell them for around ten thousand coins and then get back nine thousand coins because of the ten percent tax so what you guys want to do is you guys just want to filter down by specific 82 overall the 50 players so as you can see there's dominic rogers camardi there's lit, lit danny thompson there's brett Favre, and then you just want to filter down by those positions so we'll filter down by quarterbacks and see if we can find any cheap Brett Favre, so nope, no, nothing there. So you just want to try to memorize the 82 overall positions. So now we're going to go to halfback for LaDainian Tomlinson. So are there any cheap 82 overall LaDainian Tomlinson? There are not. So you just want to keep on doing this over and over again until you find some cheap cards. So here's one for 7,200 coins. So we can easily take the 7,200 coin card right here, and then we can resell it for around 9,000 coins, and then make an easy 1,800 coin profit. Might not sound like much, but if you snipe 100 of them for a thousand coin profit, that's 100,000 coins. So it'll start adding up as you guys get them. So once you got, you have to back out of the auction house to get your card, which is kind of annoying. But you just want to. Oops, not that. I meant to go to halfback, but you just want to go between all these positions and just try to find the really cheap 82 overall 50 players. And you guys can either resell them right when you guys get them, or you guys can try to snipe these cards to finish the Julio Jones set. So there's a couple different things you guys can do. So it's completely your choice on what you want to do. So you guys can either, you know, try to snipe these 82 overall fresh players to make profit, or you guys can try to snipe them to complete the Julio Jones set and then sell it to make profit. So completely your choice. But those are all the ways you guys can make coins after the Easter egg aftermath. If you have any questions, be sure to comment down in the comment section below. But you know, open up get a player packs, sniping these 82 overall 50 players, definitely a great way to make coins. So we're just going to auction this card off. Put them up for 9,800 coins. Always put them up for only an hour, and then he should sell, and that should be an easy 1,800 coin profit. Like I said, not much, but still, it'll add up as long as you guys snipe a lot of them. I'm no, I'm no sniping expert. Like I said, I don't like to snipe too often, but it's a great way to make coins, and it's a solid way to consistently make coins. So. Always check to see how much you're selling for and then you guys could try to snipe them for even cheaper and make sure you guys always take that 10% tax into account because if a card sells for 10,000 coins, they're really only selling for 9,000 coins because of the 10% tax. But yeah, those are the best ways to make coins with the Easter Egg Aftermath. So now I want to talk about what you guys should be doing to prepare for Series 6 coming on Friday. So whenever a new series gets announced, there's only a few things we know. We know that there's most likely going to be a level increase, so we'll probably be able to get up to level 99 or level 100. Last Madden, or the last couple of Maddens, I'm pretty sure they only let us go up to level 99, so I'm not sure if this time they'll let us go up to level 100 or if it'll just be level 99. But there will most likely be a level increase and there will be new series reduxes they already announced which cards are going to be getting series reduxes you guys can check on their twitter and there will also be a new uh, mutt master series not here there will be a new mutt master series 6 objective list which you guys can get to get some additional coins i will be talking later on this video on how to complete these objective lists as fast as possible because you want to complete these objectives before series 6 comes out so that way you guys can get yourself some additional coins 
and then whatever team captain card you picked they should be able to go up to a 99 overall via team captain tokens and then Andre Johnson should also be able to get up to a 99 overall via leveling up so what we're going to be talking about is the leveling up factor so how you guys can make coins beforehand knowing that there will most likely be a month level increase so whenever EA releases a new level you know one thing for sure you know that there's going to be new power up passes that come with it so with this one with the, this newest one from level 80 to level 90 they released two new power up passes they released the 96 overall power up pass at level 83 and then they released the 97 overall power up pass at level 90 i'm guessing they'll probably do something similar or the exact same thing where at level 93 they'll release a 98 overall power pass and then at level 99 or level 100 they'll probably release the 99 overall power pass so how can you guys take advantage of that and make some coins off of it well one thing you guys can do is uh, try to invest in power ups that have really good power passes so since we know that the 98 overall power pass will most likely come out you're going to want to look at what are some good 98 overall cards that people probably want to power up and then look at their power-up cards and maybe invest in a couple of them because if people are getting 98 overall power-up passes they're going to want to use it and then they're going to need to buy the power-up obviously to use it so let's look at some cards that people might use their 98 overall power pass on and then look at their power up and then see if we can invest in a couple of those. So Dak Prescott might be one of them because Dak Prescott can get any team chemistry. So he would be a good theme team quarterback because he can get any chemistry. So we're going to look at and see how much his power up goes for. So his power up only goes for 1700 coins. So we'll invest in five of these for 10,000 coins. So that's the great thing about this is that some of these power ups are insanely cheap. So I'm, you know, I might lose like maybe 2000 coins by investing in these power up cards. So the chance of losing cards or the chance of losing coins by investing in these power ups is very low because the prices of these cards are very low. The chance of losing coins by doing these investments are very low. So worst case scenario, you might lose a couple thousand coins and in investing in Dak Prescott best case scenario maybe his power up will go up to 10,000 coins and you might be able to make you know about 8,000 coins per card that you invested in so and you don't need to invest in like 20 power up cards you guys can invest in one Dak Prescott card or you guys can invest in two Dak Prescott power up cards and just go from there make some small profit or if you really believe that the power up is going up is going to go up in price then you guys can invest in 100 or you guys can invest in just one it's completely your choice investing in cards will always always be risky because you never know if they're going to go up or down so just keep in mind you guys can control how much you guys want to invest in and just make sure that you guys are smart with how much you're investing in and if you guys want to invest in a lot make sure that you guys know what you guys are doing and make sure that you guys are making some smart investments so Dak Prescott wouldn't be a terrible investment I'm not sure if, he, if he's gonna go up too much maybe just invest in a couple Dak Prescott's I don't think he'll go up too much but he might go up a little bit and make some easy profits so Julio Jones is another good one so Julio Jones's power up is going for about 5,500 coins so this might just be another power up card you just want to invest in a couple in because you guys can get his power up by doing his 92 overall the 50 set for free or not for free but once you guys complete the 50 set you guys get his power up so i'm not sure if his power up will go too much up in price but i know a lot of people want to probably use their 98 overall power, power i can't talk a lot of people probably want to use their 98 overall power pass on the 98 overall hulu jones therefore these power ups might be worth to invest in a little bit i'm just going to invest in two of these because these are decently expensive these are about five to six thousand coins per card so these are a little bit expensive to invest in but still not too bad they might go up to like 10,000 coins and then make an easy 45k so I'm not sure how it's gonna not sure how it's gonna go but you know it's always nice to invest in a couple of them and then just see where it goes maybe you guys are gonna be able to make an easy 10,000 coins or you guys might lose a few thousand coins usually investing in coins isn't too risky usually the reward is higher than the risk but once again you guys always want to be sure that you guys are careful with how much you guys invest into one card so 99 overall Tom Brady maybe you guys can invest in a couple Tom Brady power -ups. I don't think I don't know I'm not sure if that many people if the 99 overall power pass does comes out or does come out I'm not sure how many of them are going to use their 99 overall power pass on Tom Brady I, I personally will probably just wait until a good 99 overall card comes out you guys can't use your power passes on golden tickets because golden tickets don't have power pass you guys can't put these golden tickets into power passes so yeah, those are just a couple cards to think about. Maybe Chor Palomali, that's another good card to put your 98 overall power pass and maybe invest in a couple Chor Palomali cards. But like I said, just look at these 98 overall cards. Just think to yourself, what would I use the 98 overall pass, power pass on this card? And then, you know, and maybe invest in a couple of their powers and then wait for the new series that comes out and then wait for some people to get their 98 overall power pass and then sell them when they are looking for those cards. So simple as that. 
And now another thing you guys can do, but this is risky, so do this at your own risk, is on Wednesday night, because that's usually when cards are at their highest price, on Wednesday night you guys can take some cards from your team and sell them, and then wait until after the new series comes out and then buy them back for an even cheaper price, because usually, not all the time, but usually whenever a new series comes out, usually the cards go down in price. So if you guys can sell them, sell some parts of your team now for like 100,000 coins and then rebuy them for 50,000 coins after the series comes out, that's easy profit. But like I said, do it at your own risk because it doesn't always work. So if you guys want to, you guys can do it. Also, if you need your team for like weekend league or for solo challenges for anything like that, obviously you probably don't want to do it. But just a tip, if you guys want to, you guys can do it. It's just risky, but you guys might be able to make some easy coins off of it. If you guys are able to sell your cards on Wednesday night for a good price and then buy them back after the new series update for an even cheaper price. But those are a couple ways you guys can make coins and prepare for the new series update. Like I said, invest in power-ups that have a good 98 overall card and then maybe sell some parts of your team and then buy them back after the new series comes out so now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to complete the mob master series 6 objective list as fast as possible and then we're going to end this video so if you guys already know how to do it you guys can just you know leave the video but you know if you guys don't you guys can continue watching this video so if we look at mob master the series 5 objective list you guys want to make sure you guys do these objective lists before series 6 comes out because if you guys can do this before series 6 comes out you guys will get 150k but if you guys do these objectives after series 6 comes out you guys will only get 35,000 coins so you definitely want to make sure you guys do these as fast as possible but fortunately these objectives are pretty easy to finish and you guys should be able to finish these probably after an hour to two hours of grinding so it shouldn't take too long just an hour to two hours you need 50 team force fumbles and 20 interceptions with sam mills so we're going to talk about how to get these interceptions with sam mills first because while you're getting your interceptions with sam mills you guys might be able to get a few force fumbles along the way so notice that these have to be with sam mills you guys can't get interceptions with anybody else the interceptions have to be made by sam mills so the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure sam mills is your number one middle linebacker make sure he's not your backup make sure he's your middle linebacker number one not middle linebacker number two middle linebacker number one and then you want to go into Super Bowl past then Super Bowl pass again and then you want to go down to Steelers versus Cowboy it should be the third challenge down just do this challenge on one star so once you guys load into the challenge, you guys want to go into formation, special teams, low block, right. And then Sam Mills should be lined up here. If he's not lined up right here, then the, make sure he's your number one middle linebacker. And then what you guys want to do, right when you guys pick special team, low block, right, then you want to assess what the offense is going out in. So as you guys can see right there, the offense was in two receivers on either side. If there are two receivers on either side, it's going to be impossible to get an interception. But there, if there are three receivers on one side and one on the other, then and it should be possible to get an interception. So right now, there's two receivers on either side, so it's gonna be impossible to get an interception. So we're gonna try to get a fumble. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna back up and then we're gonna try to hit stick him. So bam, hit stick him, easy force fumble. And so if there are two receivers on either side, it's gonna be impossible to get an interception. So you just wanna try to get a fumble instead. So once again, formation, special teams, low block right, and then we're gonna see what the offense can go at in. So the offense has, once again, two receivers on either side. So it's impossible for me to get an interception right here. So we're just gonna back up, and then uh, most of the time he's gonna overthrow the pass, but sometimes he's gonna complete it, and then you're gonna be able to hit stick him to make him fumble. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do low block right. Two receivers on either side again, man. See if we're gonna go into three receivers on one side, here I'll be back. So there we go, as you guys can see, they have three receivers on one side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be lining up, oops, I was not ready for that, but we're gonna be lining up about eight yards from the time, and as you guys see, we got an easy interception right there with Sam Mills. So when there are three receivers on one side, it should be easy to get an interception, but if there are two receivers on either side, it's gonna be impossible to get an interception. So you just want to assess what the offense is going out in. So bam, three receivers on one side, we should be able to get interception. So you just wanna line up about eight yards from the tight end, and then just about, you just want to pretty much just follow them. So we're just going to go back here, follow him, and then he throws the ball. Bam, easy interception every single time. And then like I said, if there are two receivers on either side, you're going to want to try to get a fumble. So that's why I recommend, recommend you guys get your interceptions first, because you might be able to get a few fumbles along the way. And yeah, once you guys get 20 interceptions, then you guys can just solely focus on fumbles. Now we're going to go, and I'm going to show you guys how to get fumbles easily. So just do that until you guys get your 20 interceptions, and then I'm going to show you guys how to get your fumbles done. So once you guys get your 20 interception son, then all you need is your 20 force fumbles. So to get that, you want to go into rivals, recruit your team captain, DT, Lawar, Glover. It doesn't matter who forces the fumble. It doesn't even matter if you recover the fumble. As long as you force the fumble, it'll count. 
So it's very easy to get your four fumbles once you guys load into the game. You want to go into formation, special teams, pump block, 44 even, and then go pick the play eight up safe main. And then go on whoever's lined up here. It doesn't matter who's lined up here. They should be able to do this very easily. So right when I hike the ball, you want to hold R2 and left stick down if you're on PlayStation. If you're on Xbox, you want to hold right trigger and left stick down. And then bam, easy sack, easy four fumble every single time. And then usually I just lay my, I just lay down, but you guys can get the touchdown if you want. But usually I just lay down. So we're just going to do that again. So once again, formation, special teams, pump block, 44 even, and then go to eight up safe man. So and then go on whoever is lined up right here. And then right when they hike the ball, if you're on PlayStation, hold R2 and left stick down. If you're on Xbox, hold the right trigger and left stick down. And then you should be able to get right by the left tackle every single time. And then make sure you sack the quarterback. If you sack the quarterback, then he should fumble every single time. But if the computer sacks the quarterback, he probably won't fumble so simple as that that's how you guys get your 54 fumbles done just do this over and over again that's how you guys get your 54 fumbles so the 20 interceptions and the 54 fumbles should be pretty easy to do but that is the best ways to make coins in Madden 21 ultimate team as of right now if you have any questions be sure to comment them down in the comment section below i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys did please do like and comment because it is fun to get discovered more on youtube if you guys are new please do subscribe and press the bell so that way you guys can notified when i upload and it will also help out the channel a lot Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm the Hank Tree Gamer. Hope you're fantastic day. God bless. Wash your hands. Stay safe. Peace.